Now let's have a closer look at the calibration of the supply models in the Capri modeling system. As we know, the Capri supply models are mathematical programming models with the objective function to maximize the gross value added uh, of the agricultural sector, subject to several constraints, such as land market balances, quantity balances, feed requirements, uh, crop nutrient balances, policy constraints, and so on. And the decision variables are uh, the agricultural land use, uh, herd sizes, feed input coefficients, fertilizer requirements, and so on. Now, this diagram represents the files that the main files that are responsible for the calibration of the supply model in Capri. First, the first file is the, the following file under the supply directory. Here we define the dual values of milk quotas and land restrictions. As you remember, uh, we already mentioned that uh, in the Capri model, the dual values of uh, milk quotas and land restrictions are defined exogenously. And they, uh, this is done in this file. And uh, also, uh, the, uh, the linear PMP terms are also calculated in this file for all activities. The next file uh, is the uh, defined PMP terms GMS file, uh, again under the supply directory. Which, uh, uh, which is responsible for computing the quadratic terms, the quadratic PMP terms of the activities. So those are the Q parameters from our Excel exercise, as you remember. There is also another file called check cal, which checks for the calibration uh, of the supply model and uh, compares the values obtained by the calibration exercise with the historical trends. And if there are the, the, the sum of the differences is larger than some very small number, then the, uh, then the model uh, stops with an abort statement uh, defined in this file, uh, warning that some of the uh, supply models were, uh, were not correctly calibrated. All these files are called from the calibrate supply GMS file, which is again under the supply directory. And, uh, and later the calibration terms enter the uh, cup mode file, which is the main uh, file in the cup modeling system. Now let's perform a test calibration for the supply model uh, for Denmark. For this, let's open the Capri graphical user interface. And uh, first calibrate the supply model uh, for Denmark. To do so, let's go to the generate baseline work step. And here select the baseline calibration supply models. For the calibration, we will use a file under the CUP after 2014 called CAL, standing for calibration. And select the necessary options, the Brexit, the base year, simulation years, and the countries. We want to calibrate it for Denmark. And let's start graphs. So with this step, it will calibrate the supply model for Denmark. Now, as we can see, we have a normal completion. And the second stage of validating our calibrated results is to uh, uh, perform a reproduction run. The reproduction run is not formally a component of the baseline calibration procedure. 
However, it has become an established habit to validate the calibration of supply using the simulation models themselves. There are many possible situations where the built-in calibration tests would pass, uh, but a normal, a normal simulation nevertheless would not replicate the calibration point. For instance, if uh, some necessary and calibrated data is not loaded properly. And therefore, uh, uh, to facilitate the evaluation of the calibration point, we need to run the same scenario as the one used for the calibration of the model, but under a different name. Now, the scenario that we used for the calibration was under the top 24, uh, 2014. And uh, under the same folder, there is another file called ref, which is exactly the same uh, file as the pal. The content of the files are the same. However, the name is different. For the reproduction run, we simply run this uh, policy file with the same uh, with the same options. And uh, here we also select uh, an additional results type identify underscore dk not to overwrite other results we might have there. Okay, let's run it. Okay, now we have a normal completion. And in order to evaluate the uh, calibration, we need to open the listing file. We can open the listing file by right clicking on this process window and clicking on open GAMS listing file. However, here when you click right click on the process file, some of you might not see this option. The reason for this is that you have, you have not specified a path to your editor in your settings. So to do so, go to settings, edit settings, open other options, and under path to editor, specify the path to your editor, the one that you use, or if you don't have a preferred one, you can use also the GAMS IDE. So simply give the directory to GAMS IDE and save the changes. Now, if, right, if you right click on the process window, and I click on open the listing file, it will open the, uh, the listing file. Now what we want to do, we need to find a parameter called p underscore p, uh, p underscore items in iters. You can do all this using the search uh, box in GAMS ID. Okay, now we need to find the parameter required. Here. So what we see here are the trend projections for specific variables. And then the percentage uh, changes uh, of, this, uh, of the same values when running our simulation file. So we see that we have several steps. S1 is the first step, S2 is the second step, and so on. So what Capri does, it runs the model iteratively and compares these percentage changes to one another. So first it runs the first iteration, computes this percentage change, then runs the second iteration, computes this percentage change and compares the percentage change computed by the second step to the previous one. If the percentage changes are not uh, greater than one, so some press specified value, which is a very small number, then it directly jumps to the final iteration, which is the iteration 99. This uh, hints, uh, hints to the fact that the calibration was performed correctly, and uh, no, the, that the model was 
calibrated 